Hi, how are you? It's great to be with you. We're almost done, you guys, pretty close to being done. So I just want to run through this project. I'm going to give you a lot of time to work on it and make up anything you need to make up. Um, just like just know that I'm going through like half the content you normally would in class so if you're really behind you just need to pick it up a little bit finish strong I believe in you I know no no it's a struggle especially when it's nice out like today but I bet you can do it I know you can um okay so I'm going to run through your rubric for your last project for second and last project um and it is due on June 2nd so I have a little situation. Um, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to have you present these, but we'll see. Um, I just need to figure out my schedule. I probably need to go. Um, my parents are going to move back to Minnesota. We were able to get my mom to travel and there'll be more help there kind of. Um, and I might need to just go help them get moved back in because my sister is going back to work. So um, yeah, so I need to figure that out. And I have presentations with my black my other block class. I don't even know what block you are. No idea, to be honest with you. And are we at East Campus or Maine? I have no idea. It feels like my house. That's what it feels like. Um, okay, so let me go through this and we're gonna pretend like you're doing presentations. And if we are, um, we'll probably just have to make them really short and boom, boom, boom. And I might have to do just like five days of presentations with your two classes. So, okay, so um, assume you're presenting, you're gonna have a slideshow that's due on June 2nd. Honestly, you can probably get this done next week really easily. Um, so what you are doing is interviewing a person who works at a business. It can be one of your parents, it can be a relative. Um, the original project is for you to do a video of them and edit that, but um, I've cut all that out. Sorry, big yawn. Okay, so you're going to introduce yourself, um, what your favorite part is of virtual learning, and what are you going to do when we get back to school? I talked to Mr. Curtis yesterday, and we're trying to figure out what fall is going to look like. We have no idea what it's going to look like. And what about if a student gets COVID, like the day that we get back? Ah, be crazy. Um, and then introduction to your business and name in the photo of your business. So you might have to find one online or go there, snap a picture. Um, the address of the headquarters, the website, branches, this would be on a different slide. So slides should be less information. Your speaker notes should have more information. Um, just basic information on those. And I'm gonna show you an example of a slideshow that you should use as an example. I won't do that today though. Um, the address of the headquarters, sorry, I talked about that. Maybe there's a video tour you could do of it. That'd be cool. All right, number three, a description of the business, what they sell, their brands, what's included. Maybe they have a product mix. Maybe a, they have a service mix like a movie theater. Um, the target customer who normally goes to this type of company Describe their demographics, geographics, and psychographics. So we haven't talked too much about those. Um, there's an explanation down here. So demographics is basically people information like age, income, occupation, lifestyle. So like how old are they and give a range, what's their um, uh, income range, annual salary. So if it's a teenager, it's probably like zero to $5,000. If it's a Somebody who's graduated from college, it might be like twenty-five to forty-five thousand dollars. So you want to look that up. Um, if their target market, let's just say you pick Sherpers in Oconomowoc, and their target market is a uh, thirty to fifty-year-old male, um, you would want to look at like what's the typical income for a thirty-year-old male in Oconomowoc or in Waukesha County, um, and there's information on that. Or what's the typical income of a fifty-year-old in Waukesha County? and then you would put that range on there. So annual income is what you're looking at. And um, there's actually, if you look at the city of Oconomowoc website, there's a lot of demographic information on there and they have that for almost any larger city. Oconomowoc is small, but they still have that. On um, the Chamber of Commerce website, sometimes on a tourism website, they'll have that. Geographics is where these people come from. So how far do they drive? For example, um, Cabela's is a really huge company. Most people will drive like up to an hour to get to a Cabela's. But if you want to go to McDonald's, the radius of your target market is probably within like 10 minutes, 10 miles, five miles. Um, so geographics, where do they come from? If it's an online business only, then you want to talk about, are they just domestic? Are they just in the United States? Are they just in Wisconsin? Like um, maybe it's just a Wisconsin based company or are they global? Are they all over the world? So it's not who you want to be at the company, it's who typically goes to that company. So like pick and save in Oconomowoc, 
people from Japan are not going to that store. Now they can, of course, but typically who visits that store? And then psychographics is what are their values and beliefs? So what's important to them? What makes them tick? What do they do for hobbies? What kind of movies do they watch? Um, what do they do in their spare time? All that kind of stuff is psychographics. That's the hardest thing to kind of predict. So you want to get in the head of them. That is really what the whole marketing class is about, is um, getting ahead of your target market. So if you like that kind of information, um, you probably should take marketing. It's really fun. Um, okay, number five. So what type of business ownership is it? This is going to come in your interview. Is it a sole proprietor, partnership, LLC? We talked about those a long, long time ago in a video. So look back to that if you need questions, if you have questions about it. So that's like the gist of your project. That's pretty, pretty easy. These are all the things I would normally include in the project and actually a little bit more than this. So extra credit. If you include the number of employees, the positions that they have, um, what kind of equipment they have, their capital goods in their company, like a manufacturing facility, it might include like a forklift or a conveyor belt system. Um, evidence of social responsibility. So did they give back to the community? What are they doing for the community? Um, oops, I have that in there twice. I probably said that in a video before. I'll take one about. Um, and then visual appeal. So every slide needs to be six by six, no more than about six bullets down, no more than about six words across. And um, put your speaker notes in the speaker note area um, and kind of just jumping around here. Use at least 10 of the terms listed below in your presentation and highlight them in your slides or your speaker notes. So the terms are down here. Um, and your speaker notes, do yourself a favor. Separate them. Use enters. Highlight what you need to do. Do not, do not, do not read your speaker notes in your presentation. Um, you're going to know this so well that you don't need to do that. So just make sure that you're not doing that. Okay, so back up visual content. Um, spelling, grammar, no spelling or grammar errors. Relationship to project one. This can be a slide as well. Like what help you understand the company based on what we did in project one. And then like I said, terminology. So this is a 22 point summative and eight points extra credit if you would like to do that. And you have so much time. Today, oops, here we go. Today is so when you re get this, it's the 21st. And then you have school all next week and you have all next week to work on it. That's like easy peasy. Do on June 2nd. Um, that's just great. If I go to Minnesota, I will be gone these three days and it'll be work time for you. So easy peasy. Okay, email me with questions. It's great. I'm talking with you. I hope your weekend is amazing and you're safe and don't hug too much, even though I'm like a hugger. I'm actually a real big hugger, but okay. All right, see you soon. Bye.